Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Coaster Chow, Donkster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we are going to be talking about the brand new Six Flags Park in Saudi Arabia, Six Flags Kadia. Now, this is uh, a very interesting story. This is the start of groundwork or implementation work on the site. Now, before we get started with this video, make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you buy in the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the site in question and also couple of brand new concept arts for the brand new theme park so as the Saudi project have tweeted officially the work uh, on site uh, has begun now it says in the tweet implementation works for the Six Flags theme park the first entertainment the destination of its kind in Saudi Arabia 28 games with records, 6 distinct entertainment areas, and 320,000 square meters of land area. Now you can see by these couple of construction images that are going to be coming across your screen uh, in time, um, you can see work is beginning to start. Now obviously there is a couple of brand new concepts arts we have to look at as well. So let's have a look at that now, shall we? So starting off with this first one, and let's have a look a little bit in detail here. So of course, the clear things you can see on the concept art is the shot tower, and from a distance, the world's tallest roller coaster, the world's fastest roller coaster, the world's longest roller coaster, Falcon's Flight, which in my opinion, just putting it out there, just being honest, I think it's intimate. But um, yeah, I think it's intimate on that project. The shot tower, I reckon that could be SNS. Uh, it could be SNS, could be Zampella for all we know, could be SBF Visa, uh, but from the looks of it, it looks very much like an SNS shot tower, so uh, I would say that's a safe bet. Uh, looking at all the theming then across the um, area, you see a crashed plane there, you see the entrance with the name Spitfire, that is for another coaster, that is for the... Uh, premier launched uh, shuttle coaster. Now, that's like a full, I, think, I believe that was like a full throttle style coaster in the plants. So, uh, that's a very nice, um, uh, nice uh, sight to see. Now, we can see loads of trees around here. We can see like a wagon themed stall at the far right. See some themed lampposts. All in all, very well stylized. Now the second of the concept images, let's have a look in detail. I'm not even noticing Falcon's Flight, first of all. I'm noticing the massive fountain. Now, this looks incredible, this fountain. Look at how it's stylized. Look at how it's all landscaped out and things like that. Now, of course, let's start on the right-hand side. You've got the edge of a, of a, of a clothes shop. Uh, it could be any shop, it could be just a merch shop in general, uh, but from the clothes, it will definitely sell clothes. Um, now we also have like a little bit of an entrance portal with like an American Eagle kind of thing on top. Uh, near that you've got Falcon's Flight going up the lift deal, uh, obviously in the nighttime colour scheme. Uh, you've got a Vacoma family uh, suspended coaster, which is a very nice sight to see. Um, it could be Vacoma, it could be Gersla for all we know. We don't know a manufacturer on this, it looks like a suspender family coaster though. That's, we can guarantee it's a suspender family coaster, but we don't know if it's Vacoma or Intamin or whoever. Now to the far left hand side, you can see a flat ride now with a fountain next to it. <laughs> and a bit of Falcon's Flight over the top. Now, um, next to that beautiful lighting, now the flat ride is, from the looks of it, and I could be wrong, Looks like a Zampola Wind Stars. Now I could be wrong, but I think from the style of it, looks very much like a Zampola Wind Stars attraction. That's more of a more recent concept over the last few years or so. Uh, you can see more fountains, like I said, nice S-shaped fountain near a lamppost, nice curved lamppost. Like to see some nice curved lampposts. Got this like Northern Lights lighting package going on as well. Um, so having a look deeper, we can see another store near the entrance portal, see some more lights in the background. Now there is uh, another tracked attraction behind, like it's, it's literally, if you have the poles, you've got like this sort of colour scheme that goes from yellow to pink to green to blue to purple. 
The blue and purple ones, the big ones on show next to the massive fountain in the center, seems to be like a track going up. Now, I believe that is the tunnel or the uh, sound tunnel for Falcon's Flight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is. You've also got some nice palm trees around here. And of course, with both concept arts, families enjoying the rest of their day. Now, I'm going to share my thoughts on what's been going on with Six Flags Kadia right about now. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is what is going on with Six Flags Kadia and the latest on site. Now, of course, the first thing to note is, of course, the groundwork in the couple of images we showed on your screen. Now, obviously, the groundwork is very, very exciting indeed because, of course, groundwork is always very exciting for a coaster enthusiast or a theme park enthusiast, whatever you prefer. Uh, now, uh, obviously, like I said, the groundwork looks, you know, in my opinion, amazing. Um... Nice to see groundwork starting on the site. Some people still believe it might not happen, but uh, I've got a fair indication it's going to happen now. I, I think Six Flags Cadia is nailed on. Now, obviously, it's going to be a struggle to get out there for opening day of this new theme park, depending on travel restrictions and you know whether there's any COVID in the world and you know, you know whatever the travel rules might be uh, in a couple of years' time or a few years' time when this opens. But um, but yeah. If I can, fingers crossed, if I can, I want to try and make it out there for the opening day of this new theme park. Now, like I say, it's in Qadir, Saudi Arabia, so it's a long, 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 long way to travel. Hopefully there's an airport nearby and a hotel nearby. I believe the hotel will be part of the theme park and the whole Qadir project, so um, I'm, I, I believe that's what's happening. Um, so hopefully the hotel shouldn't be a problem. Um... But I want to, hopefully, fingers crossed, there should be an airport as near as possible. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I do want to make it out there to Saudi Arabia in a few years' time for the opening day of this new theme park. Um, like I say, it looks like they've got some fantastic attractions. The Tilt Coaster, Falcon's Flight, Spitfire. Um, you've also got the uh, Titan as well. Uh, you got this RMC project or some kind of wooden coaster in the earlier concept arts. You got a shot tower in there, we saw in the concept art today. Um, so there's a lot of attractions that'd be nice to experience. The Wind Stars, great family thrill attraction. Again, something new to experience for me. So uh, should be really interesting and really, really nice. Now, uh, obviously, um, we move on to the concept arts a little bit and sort of summarize my thoughts on the concept arts. Now, the concepts look stunning, first of all. Shout out to whoever created those concept arts. You are a legend. Mwah, beautiful. Uh, gracias. Um, now, this is an amazing piece of art. And the reason why I say that is because not just the rise and attractions in there, but also the landscaping, the theming, the stylization of the area, the way it isn't like a, a clash of sub-themes with the whole theme of the area, like with the adventure one, for example. You've got the spacey one as well. Um, or some kind of space portal or some kind of military portal with the American Eagle kind of thing. So you've got the sort of portalish area and you've got the adventure kind of area. The adventure area, there's loads of sub-themes with the category of adventure. You know, you could have a western adventure, you could have a temple adventure, a jungle adventure. This one seems like it could mix jungle with um, sort of jungle and mystery adventure. Um sort of mystery is in like the temple adventure and i think the temple and the jungle i think from the looks of it and the way it sort of collages together so it's not really a clash of themes if you like i like how that's been done um the the, the portal style area sort of gives me vibes of sci-fi space bit of military kind of thing um we a bit of futuristic brought in and i think it collages that really really well so again, the collage and the non-clash of themes is very nice with the area as well, especially with original themes rather than intellectual properties. Um, so I think overall the concept has been done really, really well. Sounds like it looks all brilliant. And it's going to be very exciting to cover this project over the next few years. So that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. And for more, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Six Flags Dustic day. Boom.